welcome to Victorious Living Solutions Podcast. I'm your host, Nakia Young, and we have an exciting guest today. Yay! With us today on our show is the lovely Miss Lois Shonekin. Now, Lois is a dear friend of mine, but she is also a entrepreneur, a super entrepreneur. She's a wife, she's a mother of three, she sings, she leads worship, she owns her own online clothing boutique. She does everything. So we're gonna be discussing the topic, order my steps, faith plus business. Faith plus business, let's get into it. Lois, how are you? I'm fine, I'm so excited to be joining you today. Thank you so much. And tell us a little bit more about yourself because I just gave them the, the friend intro, but tell us, you know, anything I may have left out. Well, I mean, you did a wonderful job with the introduction, but my name is Lois. Um, like she said, I am an entrepreneur. And, but most of all, I'm a worshiper. I'm a lover of God. Um, I'm a wife, mother of three. Um, I, I'm a creative a songwriter, you know, um, singer, worshiper. And um, more than anything, um, I look at myself as just somebody that loves God and just want to use everything that he has given me. Awesome. Amen. Yeah. So let's get into it. How long have you been a business owner? And then can you tell us a little bit about your businesses? Yes, um, I have been a business owner, I'll say maybe going on almost eight years now. Okay. Um, but I went fully in about almost two years ago. Okay. Um, and I do have two businesses right now. My uh, first business is our online retail clothing store for women. Um, I am passionate okay. about empowering women to be their best to look their best, to feel their best. That's why we have Hadara. Hadara is an online clothing store. And Hadara means, because I get a lot of people asking me, <laughs> what does Hadara means? Hadara means to be beautifully clothed. And, you know, it's a um, Hebrew word and it, to be beautifully adorned, you know? Mm. And, and that's, I'm passionate about, I'm passionate about helping people discover the beauty in themselves and to empower them. So, um, yeah, so our website is shophadara.com. We sell a lot of cute statement pieces like what Nikia is wearing right now, what I'm wearing right yeah. now. We sell jewelry, accessories, and also more than anything, we empower you to just be your best, you know. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so let's talk about some of the challenges of being a business owner. What would you say over the years have been some of the toughest challenges that you faced and then also, how has your faith in God helped you to navigate those challenges? Wow, that, that is a great question. And it's also um, so deep in so many ways because, I mean, it, everybody knows there's a lot of challenges when you're starting a business. And um, mm -hmm. definitely I faced so many challenges. Um, one challenge is not feeling like you have enough support or people not understanding your vision. Um, it's something that I'm sure a lot of business owners, you know, have, that are watching this will, will face or have faced, you know. Um, but one thing that helped me is not to necessarily expect support from those that, you know, are your friends. You know, you got to mm -hmm. know who you're targeting, who your um, target is, who, who God is, or who you, you've set your mind on to reach, right? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people, when they're starting business, they put pressure on their family members, on their friends. Oh, you got to support my business. And that could sometimes bring a lot of challenges in those relationships. So that was one challenge that I faced initially um, as a yeah. young businesswoman. <laughs> about mm -hmm. eight years. Um, Another challenge is just not feeling like it's, I'm a mother of three, you know, and um, being a mother of one is already a lot of work but having <laughs> on another level so feeling like you know i i have so much to do in my business but i don't have enough time you know wishing that i had two people two of me so that's time i guess time management could be what that word is so that's yeah. definitely a challenge definitely hey now let me tell you about that motherhood <laughs> baby yeah. baby 
how yeah. do you balance that? How are you, you know, how are you balancing spending time with the kids? And then they're three kids. So they each have their own personalities, their own needs, their own wants. So balancing that, balancing being a wife and then taking care of business at the same time. You know what? It's, it's something that you take one day at a time. Mm -hmm. I'm not sugarcoated. There's been times where I went to God and I'm just like, oh my God, I cannot do this anymore. You know, mm -hmm. but then just ask God for grace. And honestly, I'm still in that process. It's still an everyday thing. I don't think mm -hmm. you would see a bus any business person that said, oh, I got it all figured out. Hey, <laughs> you can't have it figured out because with it, which every new day is a new challenge. Mm -hmm. Every new day is something you face, you know, being a mother of three, you're very aware of that. You know, you're facing something with one of your child. Maybe one of them is having a stomach pain and you got to take them to the doctor today and you have plans to do this for your business. You just have to take mm -hmm. it one day at a time. And I'm a, a faith person. So I go to God for everything. And I just, one of the things that's helped me is just asking God for grace and taking it one day at a time and not feeling, you know, having realistic goals, mm -hmm. you know, you know, I know that I'm a mother of three, so I'm mm -hmm. not going to have a goal to accomplish 10 things in a day. <laughs> <laughs> I will be happy if I accomplish two things in a day. And another thing that has really helped me is just planning ahead. You know, mm -hmm. I have a day um, where I try to plan all my um, content, you know, for my business, my social media, um, and also try to um, my emails to my um, mm -hmm. subscribers um, you know, our sales for the week, you know, I try to plan mm -hmm. that specific day of the week. That way the rest of the days are a lot easier. So you have to be, I think one of the days, one of the ways to help is you have to be organized. You have to number two, depend on God. Number three, you just have to take it one day at a time and know that mm -hmm. there is no, it's never going to be a perfect scenario, especially when you have young kids, you know, yes. <laughs> um, anything can pop up. So you just have to be you know, flexible, you know, and, and depend on God and depend on his grace, really. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I always say being a business owner is already difficult enough, yeah. but I personally don't understand how there are people out here doing this without God. Like, oh my. I don't understand because, you know, if, in thinking about the topic, order my steps, there are so many different ways that, you know, where our natural abilities run out or fall short, God puts his super on our natural. Absolutely. And so I just wanted you to speak to that a little bit. Like what devotionals are you reading? What are some of your favorite scriptures? Like how do you incorporate faith into your business to maintain your sanity? <laughs> and also just to make sure you're in God's will. I'm telling you, God is everything. And even doing this business is, is, you know, is God. I cannot do anything without him. That is me. Mm -hmm. And to those that are doing things by themselves, hats up to you. <laughs> because <laughs> I just can't do anything without him. So faith, um, my business and faith is all, you know, joined together. You know, I run to God when it comes to business strategies. What, do, what am I, what should I do? Um, where should we go? What direction should we go when it, when it concerning the business? You know, one of the scriptures that I love the most is that with God, all things are possible, you know? So when I, when I feel challenged and I feel discouraged, I have that in my mind, you know? And another thing that really helps me, I always think about the parable of the talents, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. How uh, there was one um, servant that had, you know, that the master gave him, what, what was it? One, one talent, right? There was another one with five talents and, you know, another one with 10 and they multiplied it. Right. Yeah. So I know that everything that God has put in our hands, our business, our children, it's meant for to be fruit with meant for us to multiply. So that mm -hmm. always, whenever I think about that parable, it always motivates me, you know, because I know that being a woman of faith, you know, being a minister and being a business owner is God's will. And he wants me to be fruitful in it. Right. So that always helps me when I hold on to that. I think about that parable. I'm like, okay, we got to be fruitful. And I put it to God. I like, this is your will. This is what you have given me and you want me to multiply. So in order for me to multiply it, I'm going to need your help. You know, and then I remind him about the scriptures. Okay. You said all things are possible. You know, you said I am the head and not the tail. You know, you said I am above and not 
beneath. You said that you're giving me wisdom, you know, so I just confess scriptures, you know, whatever I need, whatever I feel like I'm struggling, whatever I need for each day, I take those scriptures and I meditate on it. And I go to God, if I'm having challenges, you know, I go to God, you know, I need more funds. I need more support. You know, what do you, you know, so it's, it's all, you know, interwoven, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And definitely another aspect of it is just whenever you decide you're going to do anything of any significance or importance, or you have the audacity to decide you're going to be great at something and then yeah. give God the glory at the same mm -hmm. time, Satan is going to be gunning for you <laughs> like never before. And so just even having the faith aspect with the business, just to pray a hedge of protection around what you're doing um, and buying the enemy on every hand, whether it be through crazy customers. I don't know if you have any crazy customer stories, but um. it just <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything and everything. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You have to hold, you know, God's hand in everything, you know, in every, if you really want to prosper, you got to hold his hand in everything, for sure. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about what you have coming up. What's next for you in Hadara? Okay, well, I mean, within that, there is a lot in store for Hadara. Right now, we're trying to expand um we've dabbled into you know our plus size um curvy thing but we really want to expand that it's a permanent you know always new things coming up and obviously we want to expand in just reaching more customers um mm -hmm. and go to level i'm actually in the middle of um strategizing or rebranding hadara you know just taking it to another level um oh, okay. so that i'm very excited about what is to come and i can't wait for people to see, you know, all the new pieces and everything that God is doing in that business. And I'm just open, you know, praying. And I think it's very important as uh, people of faith and, you know, being in business, be open to whatever God wants to do. You know, like sometimes he gives you a talent, but he wants to add more to it. So just be open mm -hmm. to the Holy Spirit. So that's where I am personally right now. I'm mm -hmm. open to ideas whatever god wants to put in my hands um i'm open so i know that there is a lot more coming awesome 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 well i think i had a bonus question but we already did it so i'll just say do you have any final words on a woman who is she's had a business idea in her head lurking around for a while but she's just kind of apprehensive or anxious about launching out and starting. Like, what would you tell a woman like that to do? Or a man, who knows who's gonna do this? I mean, I, there, all of us are, it's always that fear that we have whenever you have to do something new. You know, whenever you wanna do something new or something risky, it's always a fear. When I decided I want to focus on this, you know, with all my heart and mm -hmm. I actually, my um corporate america job it was scary because you're mm -hmm. like you in this whole salary and you're going to focus on business and how you how do you know it's going to be successful so it's going to be scary and that that fear um that you have it's normal it's totally normal but do not let fear <laughs> hold you back do not let apprehension or somebody else that's doing the same thing hold you back mm -hmm. go for it go for it because you never know how God wants to use you. You're thinking this is a business, but God wants to use you as a trailblazer. God wants to use you to change people's life. God wants to use you to change your generation or maybe your family. You know, mm -hmm. we are with people. God get, opened the floodgates of heaven, but sometimes God opens the floodgate of heaven by giving us ideas, right? Yes. Like the parable Say that. Of talked about you know he gave to uh, a servant one talent and you know the one that he gave one talent what did he do he buried it so when you're not launching out into those ideas you're not launching out into those business that god has given you you're doing exactly the same thing you're burying it mm -hmm. you know god has given, have you ever seen a business and you're like oh my god i thought about that <laughs> multi-million dollar business you know now mm -hmm. is the time to not let that happen to you to just launch in 
you know, a, a lot of people feel that they, they, they feel that fear of failure. And that is one of the number one thing. The fear of failure is actually one of the number one thing that stops us from um, success. It's just mm-hmm. being, fear, being fearful of starting. What if Apple uh, never started because Steve Job was scared? You right. Know? What if or Amazon. Amazon. What if Amazon <laughs> ever started because of mm-hmm. fear? have to overcome that fear and do it afraid and trust that God has your back. You know, I remember starting Hadara, it was scary. You know, <laughs> only was I leaving my corporate America, you know, job. Um, I was pregnant with our third child. So we were bringing another baby in. So our, you know, obviously we're going to need more money because we're having another baby. And here I am quitting my job. But I can honestly sit here today and honestly, from the depth of my heart and tell you that that was probably one of the best decisions that mm-hmm. we may never one day regret it. So it may be scary at first, but you just have to lunch. You just have to lunch. And when you lunch and you lunch your fate and you put God in front of you, you're going to look back and you're going to say, thank God I didn't you know, succumb to my fear. Mm-hmm. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Those were some juicy nuggets, you all. I hope that you were hearkening to what Miss Lois had to say. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been amazing. Yes. Oh, I, before I, you go, I want mm-hmm. you to tell us how we can connect with you because I want people to go buy these cute clothes we got on. Yes. So you can connect. Obviously, our website is www dot shop hadara dot com mm-hmm. just go there i am sure that you are gonna love all our beautiful fabulous pieces and we always have great things coming so make sure you sign up for our email list um, mm-hmm. and then you can connect with me i'm on facebook as um psalmist lois and also on instagram as psalmist lois i look uh-huh. forward to connecting with you guys Thank you so much for joining us. Again, we appreciate it. It's been lovely chatting with you and learning more about your faith and business journey. And we look forward to great things coming from you and Hadara. Thank you so much. Thank you, sis. Bye, everyone.